Hi folks and welcome back to the Advantage Applications channel. My name is Rich and this is the third video in my series on creating custom solutions using Access as a front end and SharePoint as a back end. And in this video we're going to look at three considerations when you distribute and manage a solution like this. The first thing we're going to go over is installation. I'm going to show you how you can make your code set up so that when your file opens it automatically installs itself in the right location with the right name. And I found this to be useful because if you depend on your users to download it and put it where it belongs and have the right name, you can end up with your file in wrong places and maybe it doesn't have predictable behavior and it may be named incorrectly. You may have rogue copies of your front end out there in use uh, in different places. The second thing we're going to look at is version control and it kind of goes hand in hand with that first self-install uh, topic that we're going to cover. You always want to make sure that your users have the most current version of your front end in use. And I'm going to show you how you can have the front end check itself on launch to make sure that it is the most current version. And if not, to prompt the user to let them know that there's an update available. And the third thing we're going to look at is how to kick users out of your front end file quickly if you need to make a critical update and you don't have time to wait on everybody to log out. And as always, all of these practice files and source code, they're available to my members. If you'd like to become a channel member, it costs about as much as a cup of coffee. I'll put a link in the description. You may want to bookmark this video or open it up in a new tab because I'm going to go over how to do each of these tasks as an overview. And then I'm going to point you to a video that I've done prior that actually walks you through the steps in detail and shows you all the code and stuff like that. So you may want to view these in two different browser windows. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how I manage these tasks. When it comes to distributing a solution with an access front end, it's usually a good idea to have it reside in the same location on each user's workstation. This makes it much easier if you need to troubleshoot and it makes behavior more predictable. I personally like to create a folder right in the user's C drive and place the front end and any supporting files right there. The front end is, of course, linked to shared data. In this series, that would be SharePoint lists. If you don't do this and just allow your users to save and launch their front end files from any location they like, there's a good chance that they're going to eventually put it on a file share which decreases performance and increases risk of corruption on a SharePoint where it can't run at all or create multiple copies of it in various locations which can lead to data problems if you use local tables. All this increases user frustration and the time you have to spend on support calls. Ensuring that there is only one correct front end file in use on each user's workstation eliminates all those risks and helps things run much more smoothly. In my video on making your front end file self install, I show you how to write code that will allow your front end file to check its location and name on startup and if either are incorrect, it will copy itself to the correct location with the correct name then launch that correct copy. Then that new correct copy of the front end will delete the rogue copy so that only the correct one remains. The link to that video is in the description below. Another very important consideration in managing the distribution of your applications is version control. You want to make sure that your users are always using the most up-to-date version of your tools. The way I manage this is very similar to the way I make my front-end files self-install. I have code that runs at startup to check the front-end's version or revision date against the correct version or revision date on the back-end. If the values do not match, the user is prompted to download the current version. Once the current version is downloaded, it can be launched to self-install. I go over this in full detail in my video on version control for Access applications. I'll put the link in the description if you'd like a step-by-step walkthrough on exactly how I accomplish this. And the last major thing to consider when managing widely distributed tools that use Access as the front end is how to kick users from the database when you need exclusive access to it. And this is really important if something comes up that requires an immediate design change in either a form, a query, or a code, or if you just need to kick everybody out because you've identified a problem that needs addressed before any more data interactions occur. I handle this by opening a hidden form at startup with a timer control on it that runs every two minutes or whatever frequency works best for your application. During the timer event, code checks the value of a field I use as a shutdown flag in a table whose only purpose is to hold that shutdown value. If the shutdown flag is set to true, the user gets a warning message telling them to finish and save their work and a second timer is started that shuts down the database and doesn't let anyone back in until the shutdown flag is changed back to false. The video with the details on exactly how to do this is linked below as well. 
Okay, so that's it. Of course, there are a lot of things to consider when you distribute an application to users. These are just three things that I found that were common across just about every project that I've ever worked on, so I wanted to share them with you guys here. I hope you found it useful, and if so, please consider liking and subscribing, and thanks for watching. Take care.